So, uh, let's talk about some prophecies that have a long fuse and um, give us give me an example of what comes to your mind first is one you'd like to use as an example of a long fuse prophecy that we can verify the start and end from historical evidence. Well, there's one that predicted almost five centuries in advance when Jesus, the Messiah, would come, begin his ministry, and then die for a reconciliation for sin. And it's oft considered, a lot of people know about the prophecy, but they haven't really focused to really get the precision of the prophecy to really establish faith really abundantly in it. Okay. But people like Isaac Newton and a whole host of Protestant expositors have dealt with prophecies like this. Okay, so that is the 70 weeks prophecies? Yeah, Daniel okay. chapter 9. Okay, yeah, so let, let's go through it a little okay. bit. Okay, well in Daniel the ninth chapter, Daniel was trying to determine when Israel would have some future blessing because they were in captivity and and God says, well, I tell you, there's going to be a blessing. It's going to be that Messiah, the Prince, is going to come. And from the going forth of a decree to reestablish and rebuild Jerusalem until Messiah, the Prince, is going to be, and then he gives a series of numbers that total 70 weeks of years. Which is 490, 70 490. times 7. Yeah, a week of years would be seven, 70 of those would be 490 years. Now that's the comprehensive hold of the prophecy. But now we have to figure out, and there's more details in the prophecy, but that's the, the essence of it. You have to figure out, well, just when does that begin? The going forth of the decree to restore and rebuild Jerusalem. If you look in Ezra chapter 7, you will see most of the chapter taken up with a lengthy decree by King Artaxerxes of Persia, given to Ezra to tell him to rebuild. Yes. And as we went back and he began rebuilding, there were impediments, there were problems, but they started the work. Mm -hmm. And you can date that because it tells you the seventh year of Artaxerxes. And Persian history today is well documented. You can look in Wikipedia, find this anywhere you want. Seventh year would have begun in 458 B.C. 458. That's correct. So if you count 490 years from 458, it will take you precisely to the year 33 A.D. That is the year that Jesus died on the cross, completed the prediction, made reconciliation for iniquity, which Daniel, the ninth chapter, actually says would happen. And so the prophecy is very precise year to year, 490 years ahead. Mm -hmm. Now, as you know, there are some people that dispute the authenticity of the book of Daniel. But nobody disputes that Daniel was written literally centuries before Jesus came and died. Right. So this prophecy... Somehow you have to explain what exactly predicted centuries ahead of time, the year that Jesus would come, be baptized, and would die on the cross. Right. 